they hit it, it hit pretty hard and burst into flames First, we're staying on top of a developing story. A small plane collides midair with a helicopter out in the East Valley. It's our top story right now at five. The chopper crashed, killing both people on board. Everyone in the plane is OK. This happened this morning at the end of the runway at the Chandler Airport. And we have team coverage for you this evening. Brittany Thomason is talking with witnesses, but we begin with Spencer Blake live from the air traffic control tower with a look at how it all unfolded this morning. Spencer. So Jared, nine hours after this crash, the plane is still on the ground. It's going to be there for a while. You can see it through the fence, almost sitting on its belly just off of the runway because its landing gear came off. Nearby pilots watched in horror at what happened this morning. The spot where a helicopter and a small plane collided in midair was only a couple hundred yards from the runways at the Chandler Airport. We heard a big bang. We turned around. Jared Pope is a pilot who was getting ready for a flight of his own. Spun around and it, we saw the rotorcraft, the helicopter that was in the air and you could see the, the blades were off of it and broken in pieces and it was just falling to the ground. The helicopter burst into flames as it crashed on the south side of Queen Creek Road. Unfortunately with that that, that aircraft, um, they did find two fatalities in that aircraft. Meanwhile, Pope could see that a small plane had landed and gone off the runway. The two people inside climbed out unhurt. It's terrible. I mean, you never think that's going to be you, right? And it, it, I guess it hits home the reality. The plane is operated by Flight Operations Academy and the chopper was from Quantum Helicopters, both flight schools. It's a shock to us and that's the reason why the officers take it uh, pretty hard. Chandler police officers were first on the scene and called in their critical incident stress management team to help the officers manage what they saw today. Pope says whatever investigators find out will be important for all pilots to learn from. It's kind of somber. We kind of put the plane away and decided not to fly today. So, yeah, not, not a good day. Now, the NTSB says it will have an investigator out here for a few days. Starting tomorrow, they're going to look at a lot of things. They're going to look at both aircraft themselves, at the air traffic communication that was going on, things like radar. There's a lot for them to look at and piece together before we know for sure what actually happened in the air today. Live in Chandler, I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family. Mm. Spencer, thank you. And as you can imagine, it is a close-knit community out at the Chandler Municipal Airport. Yeah, Spencer was just talking about the, the, uh, the pilots, the crews there, everyone working there. Everyone wants to know what happened this morning. So Brittany Thomason continues our team coverage with some more insight from witnesses. Brittany? Yeah, it is a somber day out here at the airport, as you can imagine. For the people who witnessed this crash midair, they say it is absolutely heartbreaking knowing that two people did not make it. Life's too short, and I think this is a great example of that. As Matthew Trent drove to flight school at the Chandler Airport, he witnessed a terrible crash early Friday morning. Right out of the corner of my eye, literally right above me, maybe 300 yards ahead of me, the uh, helicopter appeared to be in the flight path of the, uh, the incoming plane and landing gear clipped uh, the rotor of the uh, helicopter. Matthew says the rotor nearly chopped the helicopter in half as it fell to the ground. The airplane continued on amazingly. I, I couldn't believe it. I looked over my right shoulder and uh, he was still on, uh, on path of the runway and landed. Catching Amy Clapp's attention as she served food at the hangar cafe. We just heard the plane skid on the runway and there was dirt over there, and then there was smoke and fire coming from that area over there. At the helicopter scene, Matthew says he ran toward the debris with other witnesses wanting to help. And by the time we turned the corner, it was too late. Well, the fuselage was completely broken up. Uh, the victims were scattered among the debris. They were, they were not with us anymore. The helicopter was engulfed in flames. The brush had started to engulf in flames. A scene this tight-knit flying community can't forget as they wait to learn the names of the two people who lost their lives. Nobody wants to hear that that happened, especially locally and in, in the community. So there could be people that you know. Hopefully they died doing what they love to do. Officers want to talk to more witnesses. If you were in this area this morning and you saw the crash, call Chandler Police Department. Live in Chandler, Brittany Thomason, Arizona's Family.